Throughout the state of Michigan, Asian Americans commit to building a collaborative and active lifestyle. What challenges do Asian Americans and their families face and what kind of support is available for them? We're coming to you today from the Grand Rapids Public Museum in downtown Grand Rapids. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Joining me now is a board member and the past president of the West Michigan Asian American Association, Bing Goy. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for the invitation. You do so much to assist and break down some of the barriers for Asian Americans, but I know top on the list is uh, trying to support, encourage higher education, entrepreneurship, uh, perhaps uh, get over that misconception that Asian Americans don't need help because they all are very smart and very successful. Yes, that is a misconception, and uh, we are certainly very proud of the Asian American students who are succeeding very, very well in the state of Michigan. But we also recognize <coughs> that there are also a small number or uh, a, 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 a large number of Asian American students who are also struggling within our public school systems and our educational systems, and so we want to make sure that they are not forgotten. And you do, of course, provide services and uh, help uh, those folks to get over language barriers, uh, kind of cut through the red tape, that type of thing, but also uh, provide a scholarship each year as well. We do. We, we do value education. We think that that is the, 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 uh, the way to uh, accomplish uh, many successful opportunities within this, this great country that we live in. And so our scholarship program is uh, targeted for those individuals who are um, part of the West Michigan universities. And so there's an application process that, we, that they have to apply for. And uh, every year at our Asian Gala, we uh, present a $2,500 scholarship to one individual student that we, seem, we believe are, is worthy for receiving the scholarship. And as well as doing a good job uh, helping uh, more of those who come to you become educated uh, once they are, you also provide assistance uh, with economic development, encourage entrepreneurship, uh, business ownership, that type of thing. We do. We recognize that uh, the global economy is going to force us here in Michigan, especially in West Michigan, to understand the value of, of being able to cross-culturally communicate, to being able to uh, develop business relationships uh, internationally. Uh, we certainly value local um, economy development, but we also understand with a global economy that we must expand our market and our reach in order for us to maintain a sustainable business. How much of a role is healthcare, staying healthy, focusing on access to healthcare, uh, an issue and perhaps a barrier for Asian Americans as well? It is very important for us uh, because we understand that because we are really some uh, new immigrants to the United States. Um, that the, the understanding of what are the specific medical needs of the Asian American community is sometimes overlooked. And so we are working very closely with various uh, healthcare organizations within West Michigan to ensure that they understand uh, the specific needs of Asian American uh, uh, individuals in this community. We, we know that uh, breast cancer and cervical cancer is very high amongst Asian American women. Hepatitis B is a very serious uh, disease within the Asian American population. So we want to make sure that our health care uh, providers understand those particular issues as it pertains to uh, our Asian American population. And specifically, I would imagine right now really trying to educate folks on how to navigate the Affordable Care Act as well. Yes, we do. And we are a grantee for one of those things to be able to provide that information to our Asian American population. Um, and certainly we are trying to do that as, as, as quickly and as, as uh, efficiently as possible. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on today's topic, you can visit wm-aaa.org. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Bing Goy, a board member and past president of the West Michigan Asian American Association.